Hi, this is Linda, and today I would like to invite you to let go of the root of all fears so that all the other fears don't amount to anything and you and I and we, all of us, can be truly free. I was looking at something that seemed like a big thing to me and asking, what are all the fears involved here? I wrote them down. I haven't done that before. Um, the one I didn't write at the bottom of the list was the fear of dying. And afterwards I'm like, seriously, Linda, <laughs> that is the root of all of this. And so then I decided just to go there, just to face that. I've, I've had a week, as you might know from the other videos, to look at that with my elderly parents and with my sister. And it's time. And I wonder how much of the, maybe you could say problems or even health problems or situations or issues in our life we create so that we will face and release our deepest fears. What a gift that is. And what if we could, with every situation in our lives, ask, first of all, what is the gift in this for me? And then ask, like I did this morning, for what purpose have I created this? That's operating on the assumption that at some level I've created what's in my life. The thing is, if we make ourselves an, uh, a victim of our circumstances or a victim of our creations and say that somebody else did it or something else outside of us did it, then we are just letting go of all of our agency, all of our power and potency to transform things. So if we can acknowledge at some level we created this, then we have the potency to do something about it. So I asked, so what purpose would there be in creating this for myself? And surprisingly or not so surprisingly, it was so that I would face and release my deepest fears. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, being. Thank you, self. We are always gifting ourselves, and the things that don't look like gifts maybe are the truest, deepest gifts of all for us from our being. It's like gift wrapped in a way that we wouldn't maybe choose, but otherwise would we ever look at it. So I saw that at the bottom of this long list of fears is a fear of dying, and I just was asking my being, asking my team, asking source and all the helpers that I have to help just let go of this, not only for me, but for all of us. So you're welcome. <laughs> what if we could all let go of the fear of death? And with that comes the true freedom to choose and to create. Wouldn't that be glorious? Let's do it. And I looked across the street as I was sitting there looking out the window and I saw the snowmen across the street and I thought, wow, what a great um, metaphor or analogy for this. The snowman has a certain form when it's cold, but when the light and warmth comes, the, that form of the snowman disappears. So we'd say the snowman disappears. Has the material of the snowman disappeared? No, it's become different, uh, it's taken on a different form. It's become fluid and some of it becomes gas. As it becomes fluid, it has greater potential and greater fluidity <laughs> and more possibilities of what it can do. So the children weep sometimes when the snowman melts. The adults don't weep. Why? Because they understand how things work. They understand that that snowman had form and shape only because of the, the circumstances surrounding it, that it was cold enough. They understand that it's temporary. They understand that it depends on temperature. Maybe we're like children a lot of times. We don't see beyond the form of the snowman. What if we could see that what is real and what is essential, it's not going to go away. It might exist in a different form, but it's not going to go away. And what if the transition from one form to another could be smooth and could be easy? Wouldn't that be beautiful? It can be. There are many for whom it is. 
And we think about transcending the fear of death, and I was just asking, how many people on the planet have actually transcended the fear of death? I'm getting less than 3,000. It doesn't include me either. I'm still working on it. <laughs> so what if we could all transcend that fear? Because as long as we're holding on to the fear of something, we're hooked by it. So as long as we're holding on to the fear of death, we're hooked by this matrix. We're hooked by this 3D matrix, if you will. So, will you join me? So let's just get a little bit of that right now. And can you just, uh, I love to do this physically. I'm going to back up a little bit so that you can see my hands. Let's do this physically. So get that right out in front of you, that fear of death. Okay, it's pretty zingy. And we can do this for everyone while we're at it, shall we? Okay. Just feel that. Get it out of your body and feel that. Okay, it's kind of big maybe. Or maybe for you it isn't so big. Some people it's not a big deal. Some people are more concerned about how it would happen. Would there be pain or torture? Right, so that's a fear too. And all the other fears are just, they all lead there. And that's what I realized. They all, in some convoluted fashion maybe, lead there. Because if you look at the primal, tribal, uh, biological roots of everything, to be an outcast, to be abandoned, to be alone, to be rejected, to be um, a failure, to be dishonored or a dishonoring, um, all of those things would lead to being cast out of the tribe or being separate from the tribe upon which survival depends. If we go back into our kind of our primal brain history. So this fear of death can we just play with this a little bit? Expand it and just let's expand it into infinity. Ooh, okay. That's one thing you can do. I like doing sounds and clapping. I'm not doing it very loud or I'd blow your ears out, okay? Expand it again. Okay, play with it with your hands. Get the space of it, play with it your hands. Add whatever spaces you need to. Let's do more of this. Let's spin that space. Okay, that's pretty dynamic. Okay, I'm not going to keep going with this because you can do this now on your own. If you are a little confused about what the heck I'm doing, watch the last video, the previous one, and I kind of walk you through doing this. Okay, the fear of death is not just ours. It is part of this planet's matrix, if you will, and it's part of the collective unconscious, the collective conscious, and anything that, I will say, anything that promotes the fear of death is probably not in your best interest. Okay, anything that promotes the fear of death is probably not from the love of source. So just let that sink in and let it all go. Are we willing to dive into the space of love? the space of the infinite, the space of the eternal, where all forms are possible, where we can show up in any way. Okay, are you willing for something completely different, completely new to us right now? Let's do it. There's more of this at Lightwork School on YouTube, Lightwork School on Facebook, and check out Facebook on Lightwork School for some events that are coming up. And check out lindalonsef.ca for some goodies to develop your intuition. And thank you. Lovely to connect with you. Talk to you again. Bye.